you are keeping us, oh God, that you are strengthening us, oh God. I thank you that we shall take hold of your word, Father God, like never before, Father God, and apply it, that it shall be applicable in our lives, oh God, like never before, oh God. I just thank you right now, oh God, for what you're doing in fresh manner, Lord God. I thank you, Father God, that the building is already paid off in full, Father God. The gym is already coming up, Father God. The Senior Citizen Center is already coming up, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, I pray right now, Father God, that everything, Father God, every vision that the man of God have, Father God, for this property, Father God, I pray that we will go in and do it debt-free, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, that we... You told us in your words, Father God, that we shall owe no man, Father God, except but to love them, Father God. So I pray that fresh manner, Father God, is debt-free, Lord God. Each and every member, debt-free, Father God. I thank you right now for each and every member, Father God. I thank you for their 401k, Father God. I thank you for their bank accounts, Father God. I thank you right now, Father God, that you are blessing them, Father God, that you are increasing them, Father God, that you are stretching out their tents, oh God, that you are enlarging their borders, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, I pray that whatever they begin to think of, Father God, whatever they begin to speak, Father God, you told us, Father God, in your words, that we're able to speak a word, Father God, and that thing shall come to pass, Father God. We're able to declare a thing, Father God, and it will come to pass, Father God. So I thank you right now that you have given us the ability, Father God, to call some things into existence, Father God. I thank you that we are going over into the unseen, Father God, and bringing it over into the scene, Father God. I thank you right now, Father God, that whatever I, that we begin to pray about, Father God, it shall come to pass, Father God. So I thank you right now for what you're doing in our lives, oh God. I thank you right now, Father God, that whatever, Father God, the men and women of God, Father God, are called you for a father God, a speaking for a father God, a speaking on father God. I thank you right now that it is already done in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, <coughs> glory to your name, Father God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Father God. Father God, we count right now, Father God, every assignment of the enemy, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that we can send it back to the pits of hell from which it comes, Father God. No weapon formed against. The members of this ministry, Father God, shall prosper, Lord God. And every tongue that begin to rise up against it, Father God, shall be utterly condemned in the name of Jesus, O oh God. So we thank you right now, Father God, for the ability, Father God, that you have given us authority, Father God. My prayer, Father God, is that fresh man will begin to walk in this authority, Father God. That we will begin to walk in our dominionship, Father God. That we will take dominion over the things, Father God, that you have given us, Father God. You said you have created some things, Father God, and they are under our hands and our feet, Father God. I pray that we begin to walk boldly, Father God. I pray that anything, that, Father God, that we begin to ask for, Father God, whether it's a house, Father God, whether it's vehicles, Father God, whether it's our own business, Father God, we begin to <coughs> walk into those things like never before, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord. Hallelujah, 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 Father God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Father God. I cancel the assignment of the enemy right now. Satan, get thee behind us, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, we speak it, Father God. I know what you're trying to do, Satan, Father. In the name of Jesus, and we call you powers this right now. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. You have no power, Satan. You have no authority in this place, O oh God. We take authority right now over you right now, Satan, and we put you under our feet where you belong, and we call on the name of the Lord, for we're able to do all things through Christ who strengthened us. We thank you right now, God, for the power and the ability, Father God, to walk into our dominionship, our authority right now, Father God. And we call those things as though they be not as though they already were, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we understand that the heavens suffer in violence, but it is that very violence that taking it back by foot. We're taking back everything that you have stolen from us, Satan. We're taking back our children, our grandchildren, our husbands, wives, uncles, nieces, nephews, cousins, grandmothers, fathers, mothers. We're taking back everything that you tried to steal from us, Satan, and we understand that you have to give it back seven folds in the name of Jesus. So we call those things forth right now. Just like Jesus began to cause Lazarus for. We call forth those things, Father God, that are dead in our lives, Father God. We call them forth. We're calling them forth that they may take off their grave clothes right now in the name of Jesus. And we lift our hands to thee, O Lord. No other help that we know. We understand that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And wherefore the righteous run into and are safe. We thank you right now for safety, O Lord. We thank you for your word, O Lord. You said when there are two or three gathered in your name is touching, that you would be in the midst of us. 
We thank you right now, Father God, that you stand in the midst of us right now, Lord God. And we just thank you for what you're about to do in this place, oh God. Lord God, we continue to lift up the man and woman of God that you sent over this house, oh God. We ask that you just continue to use them, Father God. I thank you that they will be a man and woman of God that will begin to speak to the nations, Father God. Father God, you called them, Father God. So we understand that your anointing shall rest upon them like no before, oh God. And we ask that you continue to move in their lives bountifully, Lord God. Lord God, we lift them up before you right now, Lord God. We pray that your anointing shall be upon them, Father God, that they continue to spread your word, Father God, that they continue to declare your glory, oh God, that they con- that you continue to use them, Father God. My prayer is, Father God, that as they get closer to you, Father God, they will get even closer to one another, Father God. Touch the man of God on today, Father God, as he brings forth the bread of life, oh God. Use him like no before. Go beyond all that he studied, all that he's pondered in his heart, Father God. I pray that when he open his mouth, only the oracles of God will begin to flow, Lord God, like no before, Father God. Touch him from the crown of his head to the very soles of his feet, Father God. Use him in a mighty way, Father God. Father God, I pray right now, Father God, that your anointing shall rest upon him like no before, Father God. I pray that he will begin to speak, Father God, and people will be healed on today, Father God. I pray that when he begin to speak, Father God, people will be delivered in their seats, oh God. I pray that when he begin to speak, Lord God, whatever issue, Father God, that is in the house, Father God, will no longer exist, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that Fresh Mountain will be like a spiritual hospital, Father God. That when they come in, Father God, people cannot stay the same, oh God. Use us right now, Father God, that your people may be healed, delivered, and set free, Father God. For your word tells us, oh God, that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, Father God, a freedom, Lord God. I thank you that there is a freedom right now, resting in Fresh Mountain like no before, oh God. Have your way in Fresh Mountain ministries, oh God. We declare your glory, O God. We stand upon your word, Father God. I thank you that we shall be planted, Father God, like trees, Father God. Your rivers of living water, Father God. I ask that you to begin to touch us, O God, that our bellies, Father God, will begin to flow like rivers, O God, that we will begin to speak your word, Father God, that even fresh man of members, members, Father God, will speak your word, Father God, and healing shall take place, O God. Deliverance shall take place, Father God. I pray that we will do those things that you have called us to do, Father God. I thank you that we're already walking according to your word, Father God. I thank you that we're walking and acting to the drumbeat of the Holy Spirit, oh God. And only you sits on the throne in our lives, oh God. Have your way right now, Father God. And I thank you, oh God, for what you are about to do, Father God. Let your power fall in this place, oh God, like never before, oh Lord. Let your power fall, oh God, like never before, oh God. Let your power fall, Lord God, like never before, oh God. From the ceiling to the floor, Father God. From the front to the back, Father God. Fill this place, Father God, like never before, Father God. Isaiah said it best, Father God. He said, I also saw the Lord, and he was high, and he was lifted up, and his train filled the temple, Lord God. Lord, let your glory fill this place, oh God. I pray right now, Father God, that your glory will be so thick, Father God, that the people can't even move around, oh God. Have your way in this place, Father God. Rain down on us like no before, oh God. Shower us, oh God, like no before, Father God. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, oh God, like no before, oh God. Father God, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, Father God, even in the Bible, Lord God, like never before, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, have your way, Father God, and we call upon your name, Father God, have your way like no before, Father God, we thank you, oh God, for who you are in our lives, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, oh, we glorify you, Lord God, we magnify you, Lord God, you're worthy, oh God, you're worthy, oh God, Oh, hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we continue to pray and believe, oh Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, we bless you. Oh, we bless you. Oh, we bless you. 
We bless you in this place. Let's go God.
thank that you do. And Lord, we bless this place. We worship you in this place. We exalt you in this place. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, oh, we bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord is able. I mean, oh, the Lord is able. Lord is able. He's out of no ways. Out of no ways. He's able to part seas. He's able to divide paths. Your Lord is able. Your God is able. Your God is able. But He can do it for me. My Lord can do it for you. He's got a respect. Hallelujah. Your God is able. Hallelujah. You are able. Hallelujah. Let's put a praise on it. Praise our God. That's by the Lord. For so what the Lord has done. Come on, give God a hand clap of praise, everybody. Come on, clap your hands and love on Him. Somebody lift your voice this morning and say, Lord, 
I love you with every fiber and with every substance of my being. I love you, Jesus. Is there anybody in here like me that love the Lord? Somebody lift your voice and say, Lord, I love you with every fiber, with every substance of my being. I give you the praise. I give you the honor. I give you the glory. Somebody shout and say, you are worthy, good God Almighty, to be praised. Come on, put them hands together and just bless them in here. Uh, somebody shout, God is a good God. Hey, God. Somebody shout, he's awesome. Come on, come on. Come on, bless him. 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 Hallelujah. Woo! Come on and bless him. Come on and bless him. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul, it cries out, hallelujah. I thank God for saving me. If you're glad that you saved this morning, put your head together and give God a hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Come on, put your hands together and just bless God in the house. Woo! Oh, yeah, man. Oh, you're going to make me shout up in here. I feel good down in my sanctified soul. We are here today because of God. I said we are alive today because of God. Somebody said he kept me alive. He kept me in his cap. Thank you, Jesus, for keeping me. Listen, 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 listen. Can somebody say it with me? Say, thank you, Jesus, for keeping me. Thank you, Jesus, for protecting me. Thank you, Jesus, for watching over me. I love you this morning. Thank you, Lord, for putting food on my table. Thank you, Lord, for putting clothes on my back. Lift your voice and say, I truly love the Lord. If that's you today, put your head together and just bless God in the house. For he is worthy to be prayed. If you believe that, put them blessed heads together and love on them in here. Woo! Ah, all right. <laughs> Somebody say, God is good. Lift your voice and say, Lord, you're awesome. Everybody say, God, we come in this place. Everybody ain't saying it. Say, we come in this place every Sunday, every Monday, every Wednesday, every Thursday, and we celebrate the goodness of the Lord. But God, we celebrate you, but then we turn around and celebrate our co-pastor of this house. Co-pastor, Pedro, Michelle, Leeks. Hallelujah. <laughs> Everybody say to me, thank God for the woman of God. Come on, come on, come on. Say, thank God for the woman of God. Hallelujah. We love you, sweetie. I love you, baby. Hallelujah. She been good to me. I said she been good to me. Really, Jesus? Thank you, Lord. Y'all gonna, I'm gonna get distracted here. Somebody said God is good. All right. Come on, we got to move. Listen, <laughs> we got a long program, so we got to move, y'all. Come on.
Thank God for the uh, uh, praise team this morning. Let's give them a hand clap. Thank God for our musician, Apostle Wils uh, Williams, Stephen Williams, Joshua, and uh, Elijah. Elijah going to knock Josh off them drums after a while. Hallelujah. Somebody say God is good. Thank God for the leadership uh, of this church, for all of you being here today. Let's celebrate the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Thank God. Amen. My deacon had went out of town, but he came back. Somebody said, God is good. Amen. So glad to see you, deep. Amen. Somebody said, the Lord is awesome today. Amen. To all the leadership, to everybody, to every lay member, let's give yourself a hand clap. Come on. Come on. Amen. You could be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Y'all about to make me have some church up in here. Somebody said, God is good. Amen. Let's bless God today. Amen. Glory to God. If you have your Bibles, go with me to John chapter 10, verse 6, and we're going to be reading from the Amplified Bible. Amen. John chapter 10, verse 6 through 10 from the Amplified Bible. Amen. And I just thank God for this lovely woman. Amen. We've been married now. Amen. This year, actually, actually will be <clears throat> in a couple of weeks, December the 10th. Amen. We, have, we will have been married uh, 33 years. 33 years. Amen. Glory to God. We've been together longer than that. Amen. But we just kind of holy part. Amen. Amen. But we've been married 33 years. I'm excited. Amen. To call her my wife. I'm excited to call her the mother of my children. Amen. I thank God for her. Amen. We have three beautiful children. Joshua. Amen. Kiana and Jaquila. Amen. We have two son-in-law, Joshua uh, Ransom and then Charles Williams. Also, we have two grandchildren, uh, Olivia and uh, Amen, Elijah. Amen. Somebody said the Lord is good. And then I have, I have my spiritual children, Fresh Matter. Amen. With, whom I love with all of my heart. Amen. We come to celebrate you today, sweetie. Amen. You, you deserve it. The Bible declares that we should give honor where honor is due. Amen. And if anybody do some honor up in here, it is you. You work tirelessly. Amen. You pick up the phone when other first lady don't pick up the phone. I thank God for you. Glory to God. Yes, she do. Yes, yes she do. Amen. Glory to God. She'll worry you for you worry her. Y'all know it. You know your first lady. Amen. Glory to God. God is good. John chapter 10, verse 6. Let's get into this word and see what the Lord... And, and, and all, by the way, amen, you look beautiful today. Amen. Stand, 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 stand. Amen. Be obedient. <laughs> you look beautiful today. Amen. I guess she'll tell y'all the story behind that dress, but baby, you're beautiful. Amen. You be and I love you. I love you with all my heart. Amen. I love you with all my heart. Amen. We've been together. We've been through some trials. We've been through some tribulations. We've been through some hurts, some pains, some disappointments, some rejections. Somebody said, but God. Hey. <laughs> Somebody shout, he's worthy. Amen. So I love you, sweetie. Amen. I got a little something for you at the end. Amen. Glory to God. John chapter 10. Amen. Verse 6 from the Amplifier. And it reads like this. Jesus used the figure of speech with them. But they did not understand what he was talking about. So Jesus said again, I assure you most solemnly, solemnly say to you, I am the door for the sheep leading to life. Eight verses, all who came before me are false messiahs and self-appointed leaders or thieves and robbers, but the true sheep did not hear them. Yeah, ninth verse, and I am the door. Anyone who enter through me will be saved and he will live forever and will go in and out freely find pastors and spiritual security 10 verse very famous verse that everybody know but I'm reading it from the Amplified it says the thief come only in order to steal kill and destroy this is Jesus talking he said I came that you might have life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows I want to preach for a subject this morning. There is no other door. That's it. There is no other door. Everybody say that women say there is no other door. Father God, in the name of Jesus, bless in this place. Strengthen every believer. Touch those that need a healing. You got power beyond man. Matter of fact, you got enough power. 
to create over 9 billion people in the world. Thank you today for being God in our lives and not like man. Somebody shout in Jesus' name. Let the church say amen. Amen. This parable starts out talking about the good shepherd. Yeah, the good shepherd is Jesus Christ. But the disciples couldn't understand him in the first part of this parable. This was sometimes somewhat of an issue with the disciples and the religious leaders of that day. Watch this now. Jesus said in one scripture, if I tell you earthly things and you cannot comprehend that, how much more shall, I, shall you comprehend somebody shout heavenly things? Sometimes Jesus would have to really break down things to the unchurch. Watch this now. And to the unspiritual, to the unbeliever, those that don't really know God, those that are religious, those that don't have a, a relationship, those that don't pray, those that don't fast, those that don't study. It's hard for those individuals to understand spiritual things because spiritual things have its own language. Let me say that one more time. I said spiritual things have its own language. Have you ever been talking to someone and even though both of y'all are speaking English fluently, but you don't understand their language? For example, Pastor Lee, you're talking about how good God is. Yeah, in, in, in sorrow, you're talking about how good God is. Will somebody die in your family? I lost my mom June 6th, amen, this year, amen, 12.03 in the morning, and, and, and but God is still good, amen. You go through some pain and some anxiety, but can y'all agree with me that the God that we serve, he's still good. In, in other words, when things are happening, your confession is different from the world, especially when something happened in their family. They, they tend to cave into the pressure. They, can, they tend to soak in sorrow. And I'm not telling anybody not to grieve. I'm not telling anybody not, not to go through. I'm telling you that there is a God that whatever you're going through, he had that ability, the fortitude, the insight, come on here, somebody, somebody shout to bring me out. They're saying God is good. <laughs> come on, come on, preach. <laughs> they're saying God is good. And they're complaining every opportunity they get. In other words, you say, hey, God is good. In pain, God is good. I, I was pregnant, but I lost my baby. But God is still good. Come on here, somebody. Amen. They fired me on the job unjustly. And then they fired me on the job because I didn't do right. Because somebody testified that God is still good. There are family members that stop speaking to me. Come on here, somebody. Only because I decided to live right. Somebody shot with me, but God is still good. You got people that complain at every opportunity that they get. Watch this now. You say, bless, you are blessed and highly favored by God. They rise up in the early in the morning talking about their struggles. And they lay down at night talking about their struggle. No wonder so many people are miserable. No wonder so many people, because let me tell y'all something. That the Bible says that their life and death is in the power of your tongue. You know, my hummer ain't going to ever get right. He ain't because you declaring it. You speaking it. My money ain't going to ever get right. It, it ain't because you declare it. Come on, my children are bad. Look what you speaking out of your mouth. The Bible says life and death is in the power of your tongue. So what you say, carry weight. Can somebody say amen? Let me say that again. If my wife told me she didn't love me anymore, I would cry like a baby. I will let, let y'all see it, but I'll be hurt after 33 years of marriage. Come on here, somebody. Amen. That woman is good to me, but I will be hurt. But how many of y'all know at some point, I will still be saying, God, you still good. Y'all don't want to have no church. Somebody said, bless his name. Uh, I got all these bills. Uh, everybody said, I got all these bills. Uh, and you know, uh, everybody get there 
There's a complaint all the time. Amen. You juggling. I, do I pay the light bill this week? Do I skip the insurance this week? Come on here, somebody. Amen. Amen. Can I drive in faith? Can I ride around in the car? Amen. For one month without the insurance on it. How, how, how can you talk so well about that, Pastor Lee? Because I've been there. I've been there where I had to hide my car until I could pay my note. Y'all better talk to me in here. Somebody said, bless his name. Well, thank God I ain't there no more. But I understand the struggle. See, you can't appreciate God until you done went through something. You can't appreciate God until you hurt, till you couldn't hurt no more. You can't appreciate God. Come on here, somebody. Until you done really, really been down low. Because, watch this, when you get down there, a lot of people forsake you. A lot of people walk off and leave you. Did it not say hump the dump the hey man, uh, fell off the wall and he had a what? A great fall. And it said all the king horses and all the king men, good God Almighty, they didn't try to put him back together. They walked off. When you hit the bottom, there were a lot of people that'll walk off from you. Stop, stop fussing about people talking about how you love your pastor. But your pastor done been for you, been there for you. When everybody else wasn't there, when nobody would come and see you in the hospital, your pastor came. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. When you were sick in your body, your pastor was there. Talk to how you get over there, pastor. I'm saying you don't need to be worried about what somebody else is saying. Somebody said, bless him. Come on, come on, sit back down. Come on, sit back down. Somebody said, God is a good. Uh, I got all these bills. Ooh. Somebody said, all these bills. Yeah, but then that next man is saying, how can I pay my house off? And put together a plan to buy up more land. Amen. I'm waiting for something to go on sale around here. I said, I'm waiting for some land to go on sale around here. Come on here, somebody. Because I'm trying to tell you, the Bible says that he'll give you houses that you did not build. You didn't do it. You ain't put one nail in the wood. He said, I'll give you vineyards that you did not pay. Boy, how can you be on drugs? How can you have a $500 a day cocaine habit? How could you be at the bottom of the barrel? Then all of a sudden, here you are some 30-something years later. You're standing up preaching the gospel. God have given us a house that we didn't build. He's given us vineyards that we didn't plant. Look at your name and say, he can do that. He can. Say, he's able. Everybody say, he's able. And then look at somebody and say, yes, he can. Yes, he, yes, he can. Don't doubt it. The Bible says, if you don't doubt in your heart, if you don't doubt in your heart, God can do the impossible. Raise your hand right now if you're in an impossible situation. Somebody said, somebody said, I encourage you today because I'm trying to tell you the impossible. God got the ability to make the impossible. Somebody shout possible. I was looking at the movie King Richard with Serena and Venus William in it. And the thing that, 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 that stood out to me, it was a good movie. Okay, they were tennis stars. But their first child, good God Almighty, they, he had five girls. I said their first child graduated in Compton from the hood in LA. Graduated at the, see I look at stuff different. At the top, she graduated magnum cum laude. At the top of her class, don't tell me, I don't care where you start out at. Man, you get connected to God. And the Bible declares there's nothing impossible that God can't do. Uh, somebody declare that over your children. Magnum cum laude. Yeah, declare that, declare that over your children. That they are the head. They are at the top of their class. Declare that. Start speaking it right now. As they three and four. Declare it over your children. That they'll make all A's in school. All A's in conduct. Declare it over your children. Somebody shout right now. Woo! Bless him, bless him. Uh, the Bible declares that life and death is in the power of the tongue. 
Uh, your vision starts out with what you speak. Somebody said, what comes out of my mouth? Let me say that one more time. Your vision starts out with what you speak. Uh, God even tells us how to talk in faith. God declared that we should speak. Deacon will pray early in prayer. He says, speak those things as though they be what? As though they already were. Wait a minute now. That's hard. Because I can't see it. Come on here, somebody. But as a believer, we don't live by what we can see. Can somebody say amen? I couldn't see getting this building with my natural eyes. But my spirit man told me it's already ours. Come on here, somebody. How many of y'all, what you can't see right now, but your spirit have told you it's already yours? Somebody say, I receive it today. Uh, what, are you t what are you speaking uh, out of your mouth? To God, God said that you should have no other God before him. All right? With that being said, God said he is the only door. Good God Almighty. Everybody say the only door. Let me draw your attention to the seventh verse, uh, John 10, 7. So Jesus said again, I assure you, and most Solomon say unto you, watch this now. He said, I am the door. Now, my question is, why would God refer to himself as a door? Good God Almighty. Well, pastor, what, what is a door? A door is something for opening and closing. A door is something for setting stuff out and then letting stuff in. Can I say something with y'all? There are some people came to my house back in the day, not now, that I didn't open the door because I knew they were bringing drama. Sometimes I just look at them knock. Sometimes I went to the door and say, hey, you can't come in. Come on here, somebody. Ooh, don't, don't go. Y'all quiet on me now. But you quiet on me, but you done did it. You know, I don't want to fool with them. Somebody say, I am the door. So the door is for keeping things out. But it's also for letting things in. Now, with a door, watch this now. With a door, you got to have a key. They don't make doors without keys. Are y'all with me in here? I'm to my entryways. They don't make doors without keys. Somebody said, I got to have a key. Jesus said it like this. He said, I give unto you. Everybody say you. Who is he talking about? The believer. The keys to the kingdom of God. And he said, whatsoever you bound on what? Earth. I'll bind it. In other words, if you make an agreement with me on the earth, I'll make an agreement with you in the heavens. I got the ability to lock up anything you speak out of your mouth. And I got the ability to loose anything that you speak out of your mouth. So that's why I'm telling y'all, start declaring some things. Come on here, somebody. And Jesus said, I am the door uh, for the sheep that leadeth to life. In other words, I'm not going to lead you in a wrong path. Ah, I'm that door that's going to lead you to life. Move, Pastor Lee. Eight verse. All who came before me are false messiahs, self-appointed leaders, or thieves and robbers, but the true sheep did not hear him. This is why it's important that if you're going to prophesy, it got to be backed up with the word. If, if you're going to give a word of prophecy, don't speak over nobody's life and it's not Bible oriented or it's not biblical. Come on here, somebody. That means that that's false. I mean, everything that I declare over the word of the Lord, I got to declare it. Watch this now from the word. I won't speak a word that don't come from the word. It's important that if I'm going to speak a word, it got to come from the word. Can somebody say amen? Yeah, God ain't into false prophets. God ain't into self-appointed leaders. Can I say something with y'all? A real leader like me, I didn't want a pastor. See, I was so close. I served my pastor. I was so close to my pastor till I saw what he went through. And I said, Lord, I don't want that. And the very thing I told God I didn't want, he gave it to me. How many of y'all... <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Everything. So, so because I understood, watch this now, I understood the responsibility 
of being a pastor. Can somebody say amen? Amen. I roll with my pastor up and down the roads when he visited folk. I, I went to my pastor when he went to the bank to handle business. I was a pastor A. God had me connected to Bishop Fuller. Come, come on, somebody. And I'm trying to tell y'all, I didn't wish, I don't wish this on nobody. Can somebody say amen? But can I share something with y'all? I also love what I do. I have a passion for what I do. Because I ain't self-appointed. Amen. I was called by God. And when you're called by God, what was easy, what was hard, God will make it easy. Yeah. <laughs> Can somebody say amen? Give me a few more minutes. I'm just about finished. Ninth verse, Jesus decided to be redundant. I said ninth verse, chapter 10, verse 9, from the Amplified, he decided to be redundant. He said again, I am the door. I got the ability to let stuff in. And I got the ability to shut stuff out. Can somebody say amen? A do if I say a door. We need to learn how to put up spiritual doors in our spirit. Everything shouldn't be able to infiltrate us. Every person should be able to get in my spirit. It's amazing that people have the ability to control your day just by what they say. Oh yeah, real. Because there are people that can, 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 you know what? Sometimes they ain't even got to say nothing. They can just come around. Come on here, somebody. Baby, can I say something with y'all? Y'all better learn how to get free of people. You got to understand. You got to get to the point where I got to be free. Because there are some doors that God ain't created yet because you ain't free. Somebody said, bless his name. I'm preaching better. <laughs> Somebody said, bless his name. You better help me out, my sister. Amen. Ain't it amazing that God got doors for you that he ain't even set up yet? Ain't put the hinges in the doors. Because it's something that we won't walk out of. It's something we refuse to give up. It's something we refuse to let go. Therefore, hindering the doors that God has set up for our lives. And not only that, watch this now, if you're a man and got children and a wife, or a wife got children and a husband, amen, not only do you close doors for you, but you close doors for your loved ones. Talk to me, somebody. It's all right to hinder you, but don't hinder your children. Don't hinder your husband. Don't hinder your wife. Just because you won't get rid of the attitude, just because you won't get rid of the sin. Just because you won't get rid of the hurt. Just because you won't get rid of the pain. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody said, bless his name. Amen. I'm going freestyle. Y'all better help me. Jesus said, I am the door. He said, anyone. Everybody say anyone. Meaning, meaning everyone. He said, who enter through me will be saved. And will live forever. Everybody shout with me forever. I like that because God is sealing my salvation. Saint, can I be honest with you? We come to praise God. Do y'all agree? We give God glory. We give God honor. Some people don't need church like others. Put on my glass so I can see y'all. I said some people don't need church like other people do. Do y'all agree? One more time. Some people don't need church. Like other people do. But can I share something with y'all? Yeah, everybody needs church. Let me explain something to y'all. Listen. There are some times when it felt like life was caving in on me. Like I just wasn't going to make it. And the only thing was in my head. If I could just make it to the house of the Lord. If, if I could just get to church, I know that whatever on me, somebody shout, it got to get off of me. Whatever in me, it got to come out of me. It's something about the church. Because when you go to come through doors, those doors, you're coming through God's doors. Have you ever just
has been feeling down, maybe congested, maybe head not feeling, had a bad day on the job. Come on here, somebody. Can I be honest with you? You had a bad day at the house before you got here. Oh, that it raised the hell up in there. You know you say. Come on here, somebody. But I don't think you said, if I could just make it to the church. See, because the church represents the doors of your heart. <laughs> because there's something about coming in here. That which own you. You know, you know, when you got a burden on you, come on here, somebody. Can I say something with y'all? Yeah, think what some folks say. I ain't got to go to church. I can get the burden off myself. Well, tell me how that work out. Come on here, somebody. Because I learned this. There's something you can't get off of you. Come on here, somebody. The Bible says one can put a thousand to flight. But two can put ten thousand to flight. So what God said, what you can't get off of you, I got the ability to connect you through those doors. And God said, whatever on you. I'm talking to everybody in here. I'm talking to those that watch it by Facebook. Listen, but I'm mostly talking to everybody in here. God said, whatever on you, before you came through those doors, today I have ordained for it to come off of you. Somebody said, bless him. Let me go on and preach. The Bible says that he said right here, say you'll go in and out freely. Yeah, and find pastors. And then you'll find spiritual security. Yeah, but it went on in the 10th verse. A lot of y'all like this verse, and I do too. He said, the thief. Come on here, somebody. Now, who is he talking about? He's not talking about, amen, you. He's not, unless you're a thief. He's not talking about, amen, a physical thief right here. He said, the thief. Amen. In parentheses, it said the devil. So he's identifying God who the thief is. Can I say something with you? Everything that had been stolen from you, and it was got unjustly, it was the thief, the devil. Everybody shout with me, the thief, the devil. Say he sometimes he stole my peace. Sometimes he stole my joy. Sometimes he stole my healing. Come on here, somebody. But can I say something with y'all? You said go a little deeper, Pastor. The main thing that the enemy wants to steal is your identity. Y'all ain't with me in here. You are a child of God. And God have given you a spiritual identity. He don't want you to get there. That's why he messed with Moses. Y'all don't understand the story of Moses. The Bible declares that he was a Hebrew by birth, but he was an Egyptian by adoption. Moses didn't know who he was. Can I say something with you? You got to know who you are in order for some doors to come open. Somebody raise your voice and say, Pastor Lee, I know who I am. I am a child of God. And what have been closed to me has got to open. The Bible declares, please, Pastor Lee, to rule on Jesus. The thief, the devil, come not but to steal, kill, and to destroy. Good God Almighty, raise your hand and say, thank God for Jesus. Because this was Jesus said about you to combat the enemy. He said, but I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. In other words, God said today, I'm putting a spiritual door in your spirit. And God says, I'm giving you access to me in the name of Jesus. Can I say something with y'all? Through that door, speaking on Neil, you're going to get some stuff that you couldn't get. Somebody say, a new door. Y'all ain't playing, don't play with it. Say, a new door. Say, in that door, what was held back? God say, I'm opening that door. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, there were some things that were held 
I believe that God is getting ready to open. Somebody shout a new door. Everybody say a new door. Somebody say thank you, Lord, that that new door is opening in Jesus' name. If you believe that, just go ahead and shout on that thing. One, two. The door, the door of success. Say, li listen, everybody say this with me. Say, I'm opening the door of success. And I'm closing the door of failure, of pain, of hurt, of rejection. But I'm opening the door of peace, of prosperity. Somebody say, a new door. Say, no longer will I walk in the old door. Somebody say, a new door. One, two. One, two. They're giving the praise. Power, 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 Lord, power, power, Holy Ghost, power. Woo! Power, power, power. Go ahead and bless him. Go ahead and bless him. Go ahead and bless him. Woo! Just told me everything's gonna be alright. Oh, Jesus told me everything's gonna be alright. Oh, Jesus told me everything's gonna be alright. Come on, be alright. Be alright. Be alright. Come on, give God a hand clap for praise, everybody. Somebody say, I serve a real God. So I serve a rich God. Hey!